Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. My name is Jezra. How you doing? All right. I want to show you something, okay? See, what, what the officer was touching on earlier was the curses that was afflicted upon the children of Israel. Okay? Right. And as you can see, it happened to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Right. All right. right. So, we're going to touch on a few things, okay? Because I want y'all to understand what happened. What happened to us, all right? First, we're going to touch Psalms chapter 122. Because he said something uh, earlier about Jerusalem, okay? Well, we're going to bring out the scriptures on that, okay? Because I want you to see the comparison between the Israelites and you so-called blacks, all right? Let me yeah. Psalms chapter 122, who we at? Uh, verse 2. There's a book of Psalms, chapter 122, and verse 2. Bring it out. Our feet shall stand within thy gates. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Notice the key word, God. Okay, the, the Bible is very possessive. It says, our feet shall stand within thy gates. Okay, read. Old Jerusalem. Uh-huh. Verse 3. That's, those are our gates. That's where we're from, Jerusalem. Right. Read. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. So the scripture says Jerusalem is built as a city compact together. Okay? Where, where is the city compact together at? Okay? We call it the ghetto today. Right. All right? You see that? The Bible was, this, this was so many years ago, okay? But the name changed. Now they call it the ghetto. When you look at the uh, definition of the word ghetto, okay, it says some uh, a place where the Jews resort. Right? That's right? Okay, that's us. All right? Now give me Hebrews 13 and 8. Bring it out. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Because you see this man, this image right here? That, that, that's the image that the society know uh, deemed as Christ. Okay, but that's not Christ. We know that, right? Right. Christ is a black man. I, I believe we touched on it some of it earlier. Read in the book of Hebrews, chapter thirteen and verse eight. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday. It says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday. You know what? You know what yesterday is? Yesterday is in the Bible, right? Read and today, and today, this present day. That's we. Christ is still black. He's always been black. Right? And forever. And forever. You cannot change that. No matter how hard they try, they can't take that from us. All right? So, what happened? Okay? Watch this. I'm going to give you a law. Give me some, uh, Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. We're going to come back to those curses. Okay? Watch this. This is what happened to us. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Read that. What's that first word? Remember. Say it again. Remember. One more time. Remember. The Bible says to remember, you black, Hispanic, Native American Indians. It's time to remember. Remember what? Remember. Remember the Sabbath day. The scripture says to remember the Sabbath day. That's right. You know why? You know why it says remember that? We're going to get that. We're going to come back to that. Give me that in game when it says man should change time's law. Watch this. This is what happened to us, man. Okay? We have to come back to who we are. This is important. What is it? Right there. Daniel you suck. The book of Daniel. Chapter 7. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's your name? Because you just came. You just came. I forgot y'all's name. James. James. Mike. Mike. Carlos, James Michael Carlos, pay attention, brothers, because we're giving you history. This is your history. You're not going to learn this on Ancestry.com. You're not going to learn this in school. 
The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Bring it out. And he shall speak great words against the most high. Right. That he is a person, a particular people. It says he shall speak great words against the most high. Read. And you, want, you want to touch on who that is? Read. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. It says it shall wear out the saints of the most high. We are the saints of the most high. Okay? The ones that oppress us today is our enemies. What? All right? That the so-called white man. But not just him. And he shall speak great words against the most high. Uh -huh. And shall wear out the saints. Hold on. You know how he spoke great words against the most high? Because he told this lie. Okay? He deceived the whole He told that lie. He deceived the whole world right. into thinking Christ was white. Right. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the most high. Uh -huh. And think to change times. Hold on, hold on. It says it shall wear out the saints of the most high. You know how they do that? They do that by lying on the news, right? Saying that, uh, saying that we're, we're starting things. You know how they did that? They did it during, during slavery. You know how they did that? They said you are no longer an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right? You are black. Right. right. Guess what? Guess what else he said? Guess what else he said? Uh, Mike, Carlos, and James. James, what's your last name? What's your last? Huh? Walker. Walker. Guess what, James? He said no. You're not Israel. You're Walker. Right. You see that? He changed the name. That's how he wore us out. Right. Go ahead. And think to change times and laws. It says think to change times and laws. Let's focus on that time for a second. Okay? Let's put some logic into this. All right? Let's make some sense out of the stupidity that they put out. Okay? They say that the new year is what? January 1st, right? In the dead of the winter, look around. That tree is dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In a dead, how can something be new if it's dead? Right. That makes no sense. Right. That's when he changed the time. Okay. <laughs> you know how he changed the time? He said that that the day starts 12:01, 12 o'clock a.m. is a new day. That's how he changed the time. That makes no sense. If I'm stranded, how I'm going to know? That's not what the Bible says. Right. It's time for us to remember. Don't go nowhere, uh, Mike. Read and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of time. It says, think to change times and laws. Okay, you know what law he changed? Bring it out. He he changed the law of the Sabbath. Right. They made the Sabbath on Sunday. That's right. That's right. That's not the Sabbath day. Bring it out. You understand that? When is the Sabbath day? That's why the scripture tells us to remember. All right, let's go back here. That's it, Aubrey. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor. The scripture says six days shalt thou labor. Okay? What's the first day of the week? Huh? Monday? Monday? Y'all got a uh, phone? Open your calendar. Monday's not the first day. So That's the first day of the work week. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the first day of the week is Sunday. Right. Okay? The scripture says six days, what? Six days shalt thou labor. Six days shalt thou labor. So we're laboring from Sunday to from Sunday evening to Friday evening. Okay? Because the day starts at evening. You understand that? All right. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. He gave us six days to do all of our work. You understand that? Verse 10, but the seventh day, the seventh day, Friday at evening, is the, the to Saturday at evening, is the what? Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. That is the Sabbath. Today, what we're in right now is the Sabbath. That's, That's right. right. Okay? Now, let's get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Uh, I don't know if you touched on the, uh, the uh, ships. Let's go. Let's get it. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. So let's get some more proof. Let's get some more proof into your true nationality. Because I guarantee you, I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, but I guarantee you, had we not brought out this word and I asked you, hey, what's your nationality? And you told me and I said, prove it. I guarantee you, you couldn't bring it out. You know why? I was in college, okay? Trying to figure out who I am, okay? You know what I'm saying? And I could not. We cannot figure out how are we African American? How are we black? So you, you know, you know what we always do. The furthest we go back is uh, my coat, my skin. Hello, 
No, that's don't prove nothing. Read. Read. This is this is your proof to your nationality right now. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring and the up. Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with the scripture says the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. We're gonna get the precept. Okay? So we're gonna get the precept so you understand what Egypt is. Because that Egypt is not talking about the land. That's right. All right. Bring up. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Now stay with me. Stay with me. Read. Chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God. Stop. Read it again. Read it slow. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. Listen to how possessive this is. Listen to how possessive this is, brothers. Because this is important. These are words that we read right past. Read. I am the Lord thy God. He says, I am your God. The Most High God was speaking to a children, the children of Israel. He was speaking to a particular people. You understand that? He said, I am your God. He wasn't talking to everyone, but you. Read. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. The Most High God, the one and only God that exists. Who are the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. Which is the house of bondage. That Egypt means bondage. Right. What's another word for bondage? Slavery. Captivity. Right. You, you, you with me? You with me, Jan? I said that right, Jan? Yeah. All right. Now let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Most High God will bring you into slavery again. With ships. With ships. Right. See that? Y'all ain't never heard that before, have you? I never hear that in all my years in the Christian church. I've never heard that before. Right. Bring it out, right? And it's the reason why. It's the reason why we ain't never hear it. We're going to touch on that later, though. Okay? It says, with ships. Where's the sign at? Is it up there? Okay. But, so, we know it's evident that the so-called blacks came over here on slave ships, right? Right. That's what that's going on. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. This is it right here, brother. This is it right here, brother. You see that? See how they had us? See how they had us uh, on a slave ship? See how packed we were? Okay? This is the route that they took. Okay? Coming from Africa. All right? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slave uh -huh. With ships. Again, with ships. Yep, this right. is what he's talking about. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. It says, we're not going to see it again. What are we not going to see? We're not going to see where we came from. Right, right. Okay? What's the motherland, brothers? Let me tell you That's something. Right, you know. How old are you, brother? All right. 48. 48. 48? Yeah, 48. Yeah. Yo, y'all got like 48 years of lies in y'all. We've been yeah. conditioned to believe a certain yeah. way since we was knee high. Bro, no. What's the motherland? Watch. That's it. Thank you. What, what do we all know as a motherland today? Huh? I'm at, that's no. Read. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, and verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. It says Jerusalem, which is above, above what? Above all these other, other lands. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Go over again in Deuteronomy 28, 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Because were y'all in the military? Okay, some of our brothers was in the military, right? And some of them been over to Jerusalem. Okay, we're gonna get some understanding on that when it says we're not gonna see it again. Read, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships uh -huh. by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We, we're never gonna see Jerusalem in its fashion as long as we in slavery. Okay, we're not gonna see it how it was before. Jerusalem was beautiful. Now, if you go over there, it probably looks nice, but guess what? They had to ship everything from different countries over there. Right, nothing grows there no more. Teach. You know what I'm saying? It's not the same. Right? right. We're not going to see it like that, how, how we saw it before. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. It says, and there, where those ships would take us, we would be sold unto our enemies. Okay? Who were we sold to? White. The whites. Right. Who sold us? White. No. Who sold us to the white men? Read out. 
Cause, cause, cause a lot of times we like to say we Africans, right? but we don't out. understand Africans sold Israelites. Right. Right. Okay? Right. They were not selling their people. Right. We, we gotta, we gotta remember Africa has a military. Okay, if they want, they can come help us. But they're not right. because we're not African. We right. don't understand right. that. Right. It's right. us that don't know. That's crap. That's called crafty council. That's lit. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men and for bond women. Men. Slave man and slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. The scripture says no man shall buy you. Okay? Because let me tell you why that's important. A lot of we here to wake up our people. Right. Okay? We're here to wake up our people to who they are. So that way that we can come back and start keeping God's commandments. Our right. true heritage. You understand that? Because a lot of times people like this. People, I heard, I heard earlier someone say, um, "Pay my bills" or something like that. You know what I'm saying? No, you're a slave just like I'm a slave. Okay? That's right. The scripture says we're subject to payments. Right. Okay. Because when it says no man shall buy you, that buy means redeem. You know why? Because Christ is going to be our redeemer. Right. All right. We had all these leaders set up in the past. Uh, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? You with me, Carlos? You know, we had all these leaders. But guess what? We still, it, it got somewhat better because now we get to teach on the streets. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to knock them completely. But we still in the same predicament. Why? Because we want to do everything outside of what the Most High God says to do. And that's, that's right. God's law. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.